Church and Dwight Company, the Arm & Hammer People, and the Old Fort Banking Company, a local community-based bank, are committed to education in the Bettsville area and are proud to support Bettsville Middle School in today's new six. Local support has also been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program was produced by the 6th grade class of Bettsville Middle School. Bettsville was founded in 1838 and currently has a population of 725 people. It is located in Seneca County, about halfway between Fremont and Tiffin. Most of us have seen a deer crossing a field or a squirrel in our backyard. But have you ever stopped to wonder what happens to a wild animal when it's wounded or lost as a baby? Reporter Nathan Durst found a group dedicated to helping these wild animals in need. Hi, I'm Nathan Durst and I'm here to learn about a special program called Keep It Wild. Sydney House and Suzanne Schiffer are both part of Keep It Wild. The nonprofit program cares for orphaned or injured wild animals, birds, and reptiles. Wildlife Rehabilitation is a group of volunteers that take in injured and orphaned wildlife. They've lost their mothers and need to be cared for and rehabilitated so that they can be released back into the wild. We usually raise and release deer, squirrels, skunks, and raccoons, and any other wild animals that might come to us. Cindy told me that right now is their slow time for helping wildlife in trouble. The busiest time is in the spring for getting wild animals. This is because the babies are born and there are little ones that are abandoned that we need to bottle feed. And after that we wean them. And usually in the summertime we start getting animals that people find and that are being a nuisance and we get those and we raise and release those. This is Nathan Durst reporting for News 6. What is the first thing your parents do when they buy a car or build a house? They get insurance. You can't see it or hold it, but reporter Shauna Crow found out that insurance is one of the most important things a person can have. Hi, I'm Shauna Crow, and we're here to talk about why you need good insurance. Kevin Crum has sold insurance in Bessel for 10 years. He says that having insurance helps protect people from unexpected financial loss. The people in this area mostly need auto insurance, homeowner insurance, of course health and life insurance, and in this area we also have a lot of agriculture, so we have farm insurance and crop insurance. The state of Ohio requires that all licensed drivers must carry auto insurance for liability. This means that if someone has an accident with a car and damages the other person's car or injures the other person in the other car, they have to be able to put them back to where they were before the accident happened. Homeowner insurance is an important part of any uh, family. Even if you're renting a house, you need to replace things that you own and things that you keep in the house. Farmers need to insure their equipment simply because those are the tools of their trade. If they don't have the equipment, they can't continue to work. Federal crop insurance is something that the federal government has put out and it's regulated by the federal government. What it does is guarantee the farmer that he will get at least some of his investment back at the end of the year, even if he has a drought 
or too much rain or too much wind or many, many things that can happen to crops. Although most everyone can benefit from insurance, Mr. Crum says that different people need different kinds of insurance. Sixth graders probably don't need to carry insurance on themselves as they don't drive and they don't own homes. However, it's important for your parents to make sure that you're covered under their insurance policies, such as for health, for life. Uh, you are covered automatically under their homeowner insurance in the event that you do something to harm someone else, and also under their auto insurance in the event that you should be struck by a car. This is Shadow Crow reporting for News 6. Today's Kids Your Question is, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a marine biologist because I love animals. I would like to be a tornado chaser because tornadoes are so unpredictable. I want to be a nurse when I grow up because I've always wanted to help people. When I grow up, I want to be a baseball player because I have played baseball all my life. I want to be a zoo biologist when I grow up because I love wildlife. News 6 Retro. There were a lot of other things we had to do to the interior. Do you have a certain item you specialize in? Basically, quilting fabric and other quilting supplies. What is your newest item? Our newest item? Gee. <laughs> Probably the tin things and um, decorations for Valentine's Day. How long did it take you to get your name to get around? Oh, only a few days. There were three of us originally that opened the business, and we each put in five names, and by process of elimination, we came up with the one Dornos. People say that the way to success is to build a better mousetrap, but Paul Harrison built a better hog barn. Reporter Kayleen Harrison asked her father about the barn. <laughs> I'm Kayleen Harris and I'm here to show you a modern hog barn. <coughs> Clean and efficient. Now aren't you guys impressed? <coughs> okay, so maybe they do smell a little, but you get used to it. My dad has been working with hogs for a long time and he can tell you hog barns are a lot nicer today. The major improvements with a modern hog building is the method in which they receive their food and water, the way the manure is handled, and how the temperature is controlled within the building. The temperature control is run by a thermostat within the building that maintains about 55 degrees within the building at all times in the wintertime. Uh, the curtains then go up and down as the temperature requires so that that temperature is maintained. Uh, there is no supplemental heat in the building except the heat that the hogs make themselves. The feeding is uh, controlled automatically by uh, sensors that are located within the feeders in the building and as the hogs eat the feed and drop the level of the feed away from the sensor, it triggers a switch that turns on the augers to refill the feeders. The uh, waters are controlled again automatically inside the building. These are supplied by water pressure at all times so there's a constant source of water for the pigs there all day and all night. The modern hog burn helps make today's pigs healthier. And a healthy pig is a happy pig, even if they do smell. That's all for this edition of News 6. Tune in next week for when News 6 will be brought to you by the 6th grade class of St. Louis Elementary in Custer. Goodbye. Church and Dwight Company, the Arm and Hammer People, and the Old Fort Banking Company, a local community-based bank, are committed to education in the Bettsville area and are proud to support Bettsville Middle School in today's new six. Local support has also been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV.